Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be solving this interesting viewer suggested integral using King's property, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to one, ln of one plus x over one plus x squared dx. I'll be using trigonometric substitution and King's property after. So let me just call x as tangent theta. Okay, then dx has to be the same as sequence squared theta d theta. Okay, then x, when x is going to zero, okay, then your theta is going to zero. And then when x is going to one, okay, then your theta is going to pi over four. So the lower bound and the upper bound should be changing from zero to pi over four. So we can rewrite this integral as, let me just call this as the i. I has to be the same as uh, from 0 to pi over 4 integral. And then we should be having ln of 1 plus tangent theta. Okay, then that over 1 plus tangent squared theta. That times the sequence squared theta d theta. Using trigonometric identity, we can just cancel the sequence squared theta and 1 plus tangent squared theta. So you just have integral from 0 to pi over 4, that of ln of 1 plus tangent theta. Then we have d theta. Then I'll be using King's property. So King's property is looking just like this. If you have integral from a to b of f of x dx, this is the same as integral from a to b of f of a plus b minus x dx. Okay, so using this, let's rewrite this integral, right? So integral has to be looking like that. Still integral from 0 to pi over 4. Okay, then that of L in parentheses, and we have 1 plus uh, tangent pi over 4 minus theta. And then we have d theta. which also can be rewritten as integral from 0 to pi over 4. Okay, then this is the same as ln of 1 plus 1 minus tangent theta over 1 plus tangent theta. And then we have d theta. Okay, so let's work on this inside part of the ln, right? So if you add 1 and 1 minus tangent theta over 1 plus tangent theta, it should be looking like still integral from 0 to pi over 4 and ln of 1 plus tangent theta plus 1 minus tangent theta. That over your denominator, 1 plus tangent theta. Then we have d theta. So it looks like the tangent theta on the numerator part, this is now canceled out, right? So this inside of the parenthesis, it should be having 2 over 1 plus tangent theta. So what we should have is now integral from 0 to pi over 4 of ln of 2 over 1 plus tangent theta. And we have d theta. So since you have the fraction inside of your ln, right? So let's expand this. So ln of 2 over 1 plus tangent theta, that is ln of 2, minus ln of 1 plus tangent theta. So it is just the same as integral from 0 to pi over 4 of ln 2 d theta, and minus integral from 0 to pi over 4 of ln of 1 plus tangent theta d theta. But then again, the second integral, integral from 0 to pi over 4, ln of 1 plus tangent theta d theta, that was just the i, right? So since the second integral is just the same as integral i, so we can move this i to the left-hand side because everything was just the same as the i, right? So i plus i, which is 2 times i, it is just the same as integral from 0 to pi over 4 of ln 2 d theta. And evaluating this integral, then this has to be the same as ln of 2, that times theta, 
that is from 0 to pi over 4. So that is why this is just the same as pi over 4 times ln 2. So 2 times integral i that we're looking for is pi over 4 times ln of 2. So that is why integral i that we're looking for is just pi over 4 times ln 2, that times 1 over 2. That will get you pi over 8 times ln of 2. Yes, for the question. So pretty interesting integral using King's property. How amazing. 